So we're here. Guayaquil, Ecuador. Long, long flight to Ecuador where everything is good. I'm so excited that, that I'm already landed. About five hours flight, you know, on Spirit. So you already know there's no TV, no, no attraction, no nothing. So I just play my music and let it go. Good times though. I'm so excited that, shoot, I can't even, I'm feeling myself right now. I'm looking super tight with my yellow blazer. What? I'm ready. Oh, people, we just landed. Guayaquil. Let's see what you got to offer. You're about to go through the control, passport control. And then I don't have to pick up bags because I have my carry-on with me. But um, it's about 12 midnight. Hopefully everything's gonna be smooth. Let's see what happens. Let's really see. So guys, just come out of the control area and I don't know, I guess the lady that was taking care of me didn't like me or something. She asked me like a hundred questions, which is fine, do not care. <laughs> Look at ask all the questions, the one I'm still here. I'm still gonna have fun, I'm still gonna enjoy. So, you know, some people are miserable, man. What you gonna do about it? That's everywhere. So, um, we're here. People are picking up their bags. I'm not, I got my stuff already. One good thing is you don't have to pay to come in as a tourist. Some countries you have to pay for like a tourist visa, here you don't. Basically, you see the control agent, they stamp your password and you're ready to go. Then you have to go through this way. I don't know if they're gonna ask for anything, but that's what's next. And then I gotta call an Uber to get home. I'll give you more info as I get out. All right, guys, welcome to Guayaquil, Ecuador. First day here. I just woke up this morning, got here last night, super late. Well, not super late, like around midnight. But um, we're here. Let's see what Guayaquil has to offer. I've been wanting to come here for a really long time. I'm super excited, can't wait to see what's going on in this amazing city. First thing we gotta do is find something to eat and you know walk around the area and stuff like that. Hi girls. So let's see what's up. So I'm staying in El Centro, so downtown, um, like a block away from here. So I'm just gonna walk around a little bit just to get a sense of you know the city and stuff like that and what everything is looking like. But so far the weather is really good currency dollars so it's the same thing as the u.s um i had something to eat yesterday like at a gas station and it was super cheap with ten dollars i bought a whole bunch of stuff like water a whole bunch of stuff food so it seems like the food and the taxi are cheap the taxi from the airport to the to downtown was only five dollars and that's the regular taxi uber is less in drive if you have that application it's probably even less so let's see Okay, that's a restaurant right here. Actually, no, that's a hotel. Well, it is a restaurant, but it's a hotel though. I don't want to do hotel restaurants. Ceviche, I don't think I want ceviche. Let's walk two blocks that way, come back, walk around two more blocks, 
let's just see what everything is looking like. It is kind of empty for a Friday though. I would think there would be a lot more people here outside on a Friday. What is here? Oh, this looks good here. What is this? Juice? I love me some juice. Tortilla, tortilla. There's a lot of people here. I like it when there's a lot of when there's a lot of people in the place. Yeah, I don't I don't know about that though. It looks nice and everything, but I don't I don't know about that place. What do we have here? Barbershop, beauty hair spa. Oh, but that's the ladies. Like hair salon. This looks like one of the main streets here. What is this street? It's called Boulevard 9 of October. Yeah, 9 of October. This looks like a big, big street here. I mean, it's good to experience this. This is like my first experience, my first impression for real. Because, you know, I'm just walking around like lost and confused, but I like it. It's like, you know, first impression, 100% first impression. Let's walk this way, guys. Hola. Oh, it's a nice park here. We need to find out what part is this. Oh, this is amigo. ¿Cómo se llama este parque? ¿Cómo se llama este parque? No, oh, okay. Gracias. I'm just questioning about the park, but suppose he doesn't know what the name of the park. I guess I'm not the only one lost. Señora, la llama. Mira, señora. The other lady was calling and she kept moving. I was like, hey, somebody's calling you. Oh, this is a nice structure here. I mean, I like the show. Guys, remember, yeah. if you have a question, you could also check me out on IG. Check me out on Instagram at Right Harper INTL. All right? Let's ask this guy a question. Me hago una pregunta. Perdón, ¿cómo se llama este parque? San Francisco de Asís. San Francisco de Asís. ¿Y esa es la iglesia? No, Okay, gracias. So the name of the park is San Francisco de Asís, and that's, of course, the church right here in the city center. Okay, let's keep walking. So guys, I need to get a new ship. So I see the lady from Claro. Let me ask a question. Hola. Una pregunta. Eso si yo tengo un teléfono de afuera. Tú estás asustada. Ok, que te rompo. Esa es mi cámara de yo soy YouTube. Y quiero ponerle un chip. Eh, así lo compra en la calle o puede ver un local. Pero tú me lo ayuda a poner. Okay, ¿Cuánto cuesta uno? ¿Y qué es por uno? Ahorita puede ver 
Tres días por tres dólares, o sea, data. Claro, de ahí le puedo hacer cara, de ahí el número ya le queda para hacer cara. Pero mi pregunta es, ¿también tiene un número? O sea, ¿me va a tener un número de acá local? Claro. Ok, entonces sí. So, what we're going to do is, I'm going to buy one for her, it's three dollars, for three days data, the whole day, day and night, and then after three days, you upload, like, you put more data into the phone, or buy another chip or something, which is cool. Just put the three days, compra otro chip, 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 So you go to any place where you can recharge the car, like any pharmacy and stuff like that, and then you add more for like a dollar or five dollars, I don't know. We'll we'll get to the bridge at that time. Right now we're not gonna cross the bridge, we're just gonna buy one, alright? So let's see what that's looking like. She's very pretty by the way, look at it. <laughs> Say hi to my friends in YouTube. What come on Noelia. 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 So come look for Noelia right here in the corner. So she's putting the chip in the side of the phone to see if it works. She says that when you recharge it, you can pay five dollars and it's, it's like for a week, and then fifteen dollars is for like a month when you recharge it. So that's a good that's a good plan. <laughs> She's working on it right now. In the meantime, so guys, basically, I ended up buying the SIM card from these guys in the street. They sell it in the streets right here, like you saw the girls selling it. And it was three dollars for the SIM card, um, and it gave credit for three days of data, and also it comes with a telephone number that I'm able to use in the whole nation. And when those three days are over, I could just recharge them and add more money to it, um, depending on what I need, what how much time I need it. So basically, that's how it works. That's what they do right now. And then after this, I'm just gonna go get something to eat. I'm hungry. Yo, what's up, guys? I really want you guys to really check out my outfit right here. This complete suit for less than $80. Less than $80, man. Just click on my storefront right under my description, right below under my description, my storefront. Less than $80, man. This is an amazing suit. Come on, man. Level up your fashion. Get this suit in any color. They have it in multiple colors for less than $80, man. Just click on my storefront right on my description below. So I'm about to buy something here. They call it Ayaka. So they have Ayaka, Boyo, y Umita. So this one is like plantain with a whole bunch of stuff. This one is. ¿Es a tiene plátano? No. 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 So this is like, I don't know what. And then. And then this one is like corn choclo, so with cheese. So that looks, that just sounds so good. But I'm not. I'm gonna try the one with fish and see what's up. What's what's that looking like? And I'm gonna get me like some natural juices they make here. Let's see what it's looking like. There's not a lot of people here. You know how I feel about not a lot of people in the place. But let's try it. Amiga, me puede dar un bollo y una y un jugo de zanahora, manzana y piña. Pequeño. Si le gusta el verde, le va a gustar eso. Ok. Si le gusta el verde. A ver, a ver, si a ver. Si le gusta choclo, le va a gustar eso. Acá. Porque eso es con, a base de choclo nada más. No, me gusta el choclo. El choclo. Si no te So all, all of that stuff is just like four dollars. All right, guys. So we're gonna try this thing. Boyo. It's supposed to have fish and everything. So we're gonna try it. I'm pretty sure this is not gonna be the best. We're gonna have to go to like a full restaurant to eat it. Maybe I don't know. Oh, we got some little salad. I love me some avocado. 
Oh, it's good. Oh, it's good. We have something like this in Dominican Republic called, it's called pastel and moja. This one is, it's basically the same thing with cheese. It's good. So guys, there you see it, boyo for the first time. Delicious. Right here in the corner of Chile and Jose Velez. So if you want to check them out, you know where they are. Okay guys, so this park right here is legendary here in Guayaquil, Parque de las Iguanas. And you know, everybody knows about this park. I wanted to come here for a minute, so let's see, let's see, let's see. ¿Y dónde están las iguanas? No las veo. Oh, de esas no. Oh, look at that charge. I haven't seen one yet. Oh, yeah, there's one over there. Okay. See, so this one there. Oh, there's a queue here too. Okay. I wonder how do they keep them here? Wait, right, this ones are a good size. I mean, I see that size in Florida all day, every day. Yeah, there's a few there too. That one right here, chilling. And of course, they got the Kobe fish, koi fish, some little turtles there. Parque las iguanas. I mean, the whole park thing is really nice, though, like with the rocks and stuff like that, and you know, the nice benches so you could have a nice conversation. This is very cool. Very, very cool. Disculpe, señor. ¿Cómo se llama la iglesia? Oh. So this is the cathedral. We don't know the name. We'll figure it out. But this is the cathedral. Right in front of the Iguanas Park. Señor, ¿usted sabe cómo se llama la catedral? No, I think we should make it a contest, like who knows the name? Because it seems like not a lot of people know the name of the cathedral, if it has a name. Catedral nada más. She's saying just cathedral. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, le has one of the, the people bent, sent down um, studying stuff here. Disculpe, señorita. ¿Cómo se llama la catedral? Se llama Catedral. San Pedro Apóstol. San Pedro Apóstol. Ok, one person finally. Una persona. Peter Apóstol. Ok, San Peter Apóstol. Right here. Thank you, thank you, my friend. Ok, bueno. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? Oh, you can see it on the top, San Peter. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's see. Let's see if we can see it from the from all the way back there. Except from the back, you can see like San Peter. Let's see that. Well, if he's there, oh yeah, I see him now in the back. He was in line. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it, but. He's all the way back there. Hi. This is cool and all. 
I mean, I guess it is for another time, you know. I had to see it. I'm taking a couple of photos here too, so let people know that I was here. So that we put that moment forever in IG. Ha! Alright guys, so you know me man, I always try to be clean, 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 always, all day, every day, so I'm going to go clean my nails, my toes got to clean them too, so let's see what's up man, I, I found a spot here online that had a lot of comments and I met the girl, I wrote to the girl and we've been writing, writing each other back and forth, so it seems to be like a cool place, so let's see what's up. Yo, what's up guys? Why you kill? Why you kill? We still here. Echo dog, why you kill? We still here. You know, this is the next day, but it's still part of my first impression video. Right now, we're just gonna go eat something. I wanna eat something like really typical from here. So let's see what, what they got. I saw something here while I was walking the other, I mean, yesterday. I saw a restaurant that I wanted to try, so. It's, it looks like it's part of the hotel, so it's clean. Let's go check that out. But we're still on the first impression still. So far, so good. You know, I've been out during the day. Something I've noticed is I'm in the center. Normally, when you go to a city center anywhere in Central South America, there's a lot more people in the streets, like shopping, walking, working. One on top of stuff like here, you don't see a lot of people, which is different. This is different. Like normally, there's so many people. And look, the street is like, and this is the main street. Another one is over there in the black. I'm gonna check that out, but it's not like a lot of people here. Just you know, doing the regular, going about the business and stuff like that. Oh, look at that! I think the restaurant is closed. Oh wow, so there you go. Even the restaurant that I wanted to go is actually closed. I wanted to go here. Oh wow. See, so I guess because it's Saturday, there's not a lot of business, or there's not a lot of people in this area. I don't know, whichever it is, but now you're seeing it. That's that. Um, but there so far, everything's been good. I still safe. One thing that I want to say though, everywhere, like every time you meet somebody, they always bring the safety issue and they talk about it, how it's not safe, how it's getting very dangerous now. I mean, it could be, I'm not going to deny it because the locals are saying it. I haven't felt threatened by nothing. I haven't felt unsafe anywhere yet. You never know, but everywhere you go, they talk about it. I guess, well, some of the places that I visit though, you know, are cool, because it's like in really good areas, that's one, two. I always get on an Uber or E-Drive, mostly Ubers, because to be honest, like the most expensive Uber I spent was like $5, and it was like about half an hour, and it was still $5. So Ubers are really cheap, so I always felt the need to do, you know, like go to the E-Drive and the other, cheap um services as well but so far so good boy our kid is looking good females are looking good big booties man big booties are here uh, that caught me by surprise i mean i didn't expect to see so many big booties uh, you know so that's a good look i mean white chicks long 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 hair big booty that's what i have seen a lot in the clubs and in the bars as you can see here it's a little something something and this is the regular chick. She has a little booty, you know what I mean? Like, I wasn't expecting to see all of that. I wasn't expecting to see all of that. So that's not bad. I mean, when it comes to the food, like I said yesterday, the prices are really good. Nothing super crazy. I think if anything, the clubs is where it gets a little bit more pricier. Like the drinks at the clubs and some of them that charge entrance, that's also the only thing that I've seen that is kind of pricey. Food is good, taxes are good, super cheap. Um, 
I haven't done any activities yet. I wanna go to the beach side so I can do some activities, like, you know, go out and do stuff, jet skis maybe, but so far, good. All right, guys, so first impression. First impression, still going. Let's find something to eat. All right, guys, so they brought me my food already. This is what I'm having. This is Polish. We like some type of coconut sauce. Then you got your potatoes, rice, avocado, which is really nice, and an orange. So let's see what this is looking like. I mean, it looks really good though. Let's see what it tastes like. Let's try the fish. Ooh, good. I mean, I thought I was going to feel the coconut a little bit more, but you can still feel it. But it's, like, it's a really interesting cream. The cream is interesting. It, the, the fish is very soft and tender. Like, it comes out really nice. All right, guys, you got to see me. Brand new stuff in Ecuador. So guys, this is a mall right in the center of the city, right downtown. I just walked in and I started walking and I see so many stores. I know, mean, is that small stores or little stores? But it's a few floors up. It's like one, two, three. It's like five floors up. This is super interesting though. And it's very nice, clean, very, very nice. This mall is right downtown. It actually just has like these gates open and you just walk in. So it, I didn't even know it was a mall at first. I just went into a bakery that is right in the front of the store. This right here that you see on the right. And then I noticed that, you know, it has escalators and all this stuff. I'm like, let me walk in. So I walked in, there's a lot of like small stores and it's basically like little stores and they have like, all kind of stuff like accessories, electric, like electric stuff, like little things like that. But it's like really small, really small stores. And then there's so many, so many security guards like all over the place. So many security guards. It's like I don't know what's going down, but that was a little weird. <laughs> little stores, though. They're all like little stores. Like as you guys can see, it's like little stores. But it's like a lot of stuff. So. It's cool, cool, and it's, you can call it now. And something I noticed too, there's so many guards. There's a lot of security here. Like, I don't know if they have, like, what the hell they have here, but it's a lot of security. Like, every corner is one of them. Like, they everywhere. So guys, just in case you want to know, the name of the mall is called Unicentro. It's right here. Unicentro, and they have a lot of stuff. They have like a lot of accessories for for everything. There's like a lot of accessory stores. There's like phone stores. They have electronics. So if you're ever missing some pieces of your stuff, you could probably get it there. It seems super safe and clean. It's a lot of guards, like I said before, so, you know, check them out if you ever need something. And this is just in the center, in the city center. There's way bigger malls. There's really nice malls, like the one that we went yesterday at the Red, Red Lion. That restaurant right there, that whole area is like super industrial, super, or not industrial, this is more. I mean, it's, um, whatchamacallit, it's like super agey though. It's like, 
modern. It's like new buildings and stuff like that. So definitely not industrial. My mistake there. Yeah. It's more modern, high rises if you want to call them, and like big malls and stuff like that. And it's super close to the airport. So that's a good look. The one thing that we need to try and find out is that I noticed they have Citibank here. I don't know if it's the same as the US, because in Mexico they have Citibank too, but it's not the same actually. But when you try to do business with them, they charge you a fee regular. Not like, not like it's the same bank. They say, no, it's a different institution with the same name or whatever they want to call it. But here I see that they also have Citibank. So I'm gonna see if I can find some info about that just in case. So guys, just concluding this video, this is my first impression of Ecuador, my first time in Ecuador. I hope you liked it. I love you got you have as much information as you need. If you do need any more information, if you do have more questions, please leave it in the comments or check me out in IG at right Harper INTL. Let me know also if you guys want me to do a travel guide for this um, country and I will do it for you. I, I just don't want to spend the time doing it and then you guys don't really download it. So let me know if you guys are interested and I will make one for you guys. Um, also check out, you know, the Amazon storefront where you could get all the stuff that I wear, all the equipment and all my travel um, essentials. So, I mean, talk to you guys in a second. Brr, brr, ah.